Hello everyone, welcome to our preview of the Browns season finale in Baltimore on Sunday. And boy, this promises to be a very interesting game uh, because Connor Shaw will likely be the starting quarterback going up against Joe Flacco, Terrell Suggs and the boys. Uh, what do you make of all that, Tom? Uh, boy, it seems, you know, this is only my third season on the beat it. Every year it seems that this time we're seeing a third string quarterback uh, coming in and playing this last game of the year. Uh, a year or two ago it was Thad Lewis, uh, and now here we are with, with Connor Shaw. No one expected it to end this way. Uh, it's a big game for the Ravens, and it's a chance for the Browns to get to 8-8. Eight and eight. Boy, it's going to be tough, though. It really is going to be tough, especially because uh, things around uh, Connor Shaw have not been going well lately. Uh, obviously, there have been struggles at the center position. Uh, the running backs haven't really uh, been able to play all that well, although Isaiah Crowell uh, had a decent game last week. But Terrence West needs to pick it up. The offensive line needs to pick it up. And some of those receivers need to come through and make plays for him. Yeah, and you know, one guy I would like to, see, you know, you would like to see finish strongly, if that's possible, is to me is Josh Gordon. Mm -hmm. Josh Gordon had the great start once he got back in Atlanta. We saw, you know, it seemed like vintage Josh Gordon. Since then, not much, and he's one of the one big playmaking weapon. If 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 Connor Shaw can get get him the ball, that can give them a chance to get some points. And of course, uh, Cameron as well, who had the great dynamic 81-yard touchdown last week. Yeah, I mean, you look at this game, and there are a number of players who you have to wonder, is it their last game in a Browns mm, uniform? Yeah. Now, Brian Hoyer, we don't even know if he'll be active, but it, it could be his last game. Jabal Sheard, Buster Screen, yeah. Ataba Rubin, Jordan Cameron. These are all guys whose contracts are up after this season, yeah. and we don't know if they'll be back this way. Yeah, and, it's, and, and, and some of these guys have been here for you know multiple years or, or starters on this team, but... You know, again, when you when you don't reach 500 or you're right around 500, you you have to expect change, and I, I I'm sure it's going to come. I think on a much smaller level than we were used to here in Berea the last few years, but it's coming nonetheless. And you know what? The Browns are not going to be able to do anything on offense if they can't stop that run this week. They absolutely have got to get off the field and give the offense a chance to get something done. Without question. And Mary Kay, obviously going into the offseason, the talk is going to be about quarterback, which it should be. But they have got to address uh, the, the run defense, especially in this division. You look at Baltimore has made improvements. Cincinnati has made improvements. Pittsburgh, really good running backs. This is something that's got to get fixed. Well, they're getting uh, John Hughes back for this game, so maybe he'll help out a little bit. And, and Carlos, I thought, came out very strong yeah. last week. So uh, they may be able to, to accomplish it, and that will help. That's what a rookie quarterback is going to need. He's going to need a good defense and a good running game uh, so that they can take a little bit of the pressure off him. Again, the Browns are trying to get to 8-8. Eight and eight. Uh, Mike Pettin said today even that would be a disappointment after being 6-3. and three. The one thing that I'm sure they would love to do and would love to, for, to give for their fans is to knock the Ravens out of the playoffs because uh, the Ravens need to win and they need help but the Browns could knock them out with, with a win on uh, Sunday. Absolutely, and guys need to put good tape down too because yep. we all know uh, the kind of turnover that there is in the NFL. So stay with us for Sunday's season finale in Baltimore. We will have it all right here for you on Cleveland.com.